welcome to Sabrina's Fit and Fab Over 50. I am so glad you're back here with me today as we are going to explore the benefits of an incredible method of body conditioning known as Pilates. This unique system of stretching and strengthening was developed over 90 years ago by Joseph Pilates. The many benefits of Matt Pilates include muscle conditioning, improved posture, as well as flexibility and balance. Like yoga, it also unites the body and mind. What fascinated me about Pilates was the history behind it. Joseph Pilates developed his exercise system in Germany in the early 1900s. Plagued by asthma and rickets as a child, his method emerged as a way to strengthen his frail body. While serving as an orderly in a hospital during the deadly influenza epidemic of 1918, he began working on non-ambulatory patients by attaching springs to the hospital beds. The amazing result? His patients were improving faster. Today, these spring-based exercises became the basis for the work done on the apparatus known as the reformer. But it was the mat work that became the foundation of his movement. No equipment is required for these sequences. We're now going to use creative visual imaging to engage the mind and gain access to our complex anatomical system. For example, when I say imagine a ripcord behind your navel and imagine pulling it in towards your spine, you can easily achieve that with this visual. We're going to do three simple standing exercises on the mat today to begin our Pilates practice. All movement is going to originate from your center or core, also known as your powerhouse, which includes your abdomen, lower back, hips, and glutes. First, you want to create a Pilates stance with the spine tall, the crown of your head reaching to the ceiling. This will create length in your neck. Make sure your shoulders are away from your ears. Now you want to pull your navel in and up towards your diaphragm. With your legs together, gently squeeze the backs of the upper inner thighs to engage and stabilize the lower body. Your legs are straight, knees soft, and heels are turned out and glued into a V position like a dancer. We are now ready to perform the exercise known as the zip up to tone your core and arms. Holding very light free weights, palms facing down, you want to inhale and begin pulling your hands up the center line of your body. Imagine you're pulling a tight zipper up the center line. Exhale and slowly lowering the hands and arms, resisting gravity as you go. Imagine you're pushing down on a heavy plunger on a box of dynamite. Do two to three sets of six to 12 using controlled breathing and keeping your torso zipped up as you perform this movement. The next exercise I perform with many of my clients to improve posture is known as shaving the head. Stand in the Pilates stance with your hands holding very light free weights in a triangle above your head. Keep your shoulders down as you perform the movement of this exercise. If you have a shoulder injury, avoid the weight. Inhale and press your hands upward on a slight diagonal forward. Imagine you're rolling a boulder up a mountain with your hands. Exhale and slowly bring the hands behind your head, imagining the weight of the bowler hovering above your head as you do. Use your core to control your movements. Repeat this six to 12 times. The breathing is very important as this feeds oxygen to your blood. These two exercises are wonderful, performed in a sequence with each other to open the chest, strengthen the spine and shoulders, and elongate your torso. The final exercise I'm going to demonstrate standing on the mat is standing leg circles. Keeping your pelvis in neutral alignment with the navel pulled in and up, the posture long and strong in the Pilates stance, you're going to use the strength of your core muscles to lift the leg slightly off the mat in front of you and stabilize it using a slight turnout like a dancer to work the inner thigh muscles as well. You can hold onto a chair if needed in the beginning for balance with one of these one-legged exercises. Using your pelvis to rotate the leg, imagine a paintbrush between your toes and you're going to draw a small circle the size of a small dish on the wall in front of you. Keep the leg low and use the innermost muscles of your core as you gently inhale on the circle for five in one direction and exhale in the circle for five in the opposite direction. Bring the leg back down, 
assume the Pilates pose with control and then lift the other leg slightly off the mat to perform the leg circles on the other leg. You have now not only toned your legs but used your iliopsoas which is the muscle that evolved over time allowing us to stand upright. It connects the side of the lumbar spine to the front of the pelvic bones and again to the inner upper leg bones so you are literally rotating the leg from your innermost core. It is so exciting to use your body as a whole and not simply train one muscle at a time. I can't wait to our next segment where I will take you down to the mat to give your core a whole new challenge. Thanks for watching Fit and Fab Over 50 and keep practicing these moves with control and concentration five minutes a day. I'm looking forward to seeing you, the longer, stronger you, next time.